Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. And a very good Saturday night to you, Hartley. And currently it is clear with 56 degrees in Kirksville. Winds are coming from the east at 9 miles per hour. Dew point is at 52 with a humidity at 87%. In Ottumwa, cloudy with 53 degrees. Winds are coming from the east at 18 miles per hour. Dew point is at 48 with a humidity at 83%. Now we did wake up to some very strong thunderstorms and some heavy rain this morning. Here it is, our radar at 10 o'clock this morning as that heavy batch began to move out of our area. In Kirksville, we saw about an inch and a quarter of rain. However, in Ottumwa, almost two inches of rain. By the early afternoon, it all moved out of here, making way for cloudy skies. Now, we're in the clear right now, but we are going to be seeing an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms as we head into the overnight hours. And as you can see, uh, right now, Wapolo County is right out under a flash flood watch until Sunday morning because of the amount of rain we could be be seen once again during the overnight hours with the low of 55 degrees with east southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning 7 a.m. it's still going to be 55 degrees and it's only warming up to 65 with chances of rain and thunderstorms at 10 a.m. So why are we getting all this rain throughout the Memorial Day weekend? Well folks you can give thanks to this very very strong warm front that is to the south of us which is bringing a lot of moisture associated with the storm system as we go into the next 24 to 48 hours it's going to start moving a little bit more north into our viewing area by tomorrow night and it's going to not only give us more chances of rain but it's going to start to warm our temperatures to the 80s as we head into next week as you can see by monday night we are going to start seeing a little bit of more clearer weather, but we are going to still see those chances of showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow and into Memorial Day. So don't shoot me, folks. I am just the messenger, just letting you know there is going to be chances of rain for the rest of the weekend. Again, I am so sorry. Tomorrow we're going to see a high of 75 degrees with south east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now we have lots of events going on tomorrow, such as the coal miner days, Hopefully this won't be a, another rained out event because I always look forward to this event every year. Their parade at the Novager Fairgrounds at 1 o'clock. It's going to be 72 degrees with chances of rain. So I'm crossing my fingers hoping that this will still keep going as we head into tomorrow. 61 degrees for your overnight low with more chances of rain in the forecast with southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. In your five-day extended forecast, folks, once we go into next week, Sunshine is going to be returning with warmer temperatures with highs in the mid to low 80s. And don't forget, you can always get your weather 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So I'm just saying it again, Justin. I'm warning people. I'm letting them know so that way they don't get mad at me and Teresa and Kevin later. So just a couple more days of rain, and then we'll see kind of some sunshine. Yes, I'm I looking just, at Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks I know. Warm. I just wish it was during the Memorial Day weekend. I know. That's not too good. Thanks I'm so much, sorry. Vanessa. Yeah. You tried. You tried. <laughs>